the angel of the Lord brought tidings to Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Ghost. <coughs> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion may we come to know the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the name of the Lord, the Holy Spirit, and 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 the Holy Ca potevo ti vincitra, Deus, Deus, meus, vai svesis anima me, quale con tu es me. Sper in Deo, quando me tocco di te voli, salutare vocus me, e Deus meus. Gloria, Patria, Filio, Spiritu e Santo, si potera tu principio e non cazzette, ed in secura seculorum, Amen. E in tua volontà di Dei, e Dei che litifica di un tutto meo. Auditorio nostro, in nome di Domini, qui fece cielo e terra. Confitio de mi potenti, Beate Maria, Sia Virgine, Beate Italia, Gangelo, Beate Juan Bautista, e Santi Posti, Spetro e Paolo, Beate Ivo, Ne Maria, Via, Non Dio Santi, Non Dio Spatere, Quei Vodavi, Non Dio Scogi, Dazio, Ne Vemo, Non Dio Spatere, Me O Culpa, Me O Culpa, Me O Massimo Culpa. Rio Prego, Eata, Maria, Am Sebe Virgine, E Beate Mio Padre, Ma Cangelo, Me Alto Mio Juan Bautista, Am Santo Posto, Spetro e Paolo, Me Alto Mio Juan Maria, Am Via, Non Dio Santo Posto, Spatere, Orrare Pro Me, Dove Non Dio Nostro. Misericordiosi, Dio mio, potenti, Dio mio, Signore, spiegati, Dio mio, 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 spiegati, e io prego, Beata Maria, mi sento Virgine, Beata Michele, Marcangelo, Beata Mioan, Battista, Santos Apostolo, Spetro, Paolo, Omnes Santo, Sete Pate, Orrare Pro Me, Ad Omnum Deo Nostro. Miseriato Vessi, mi potenza Deo, si tu mi si toccati, si vesci, si spedu per vostra vita, me cana. Amen. L'urgenza, si vada a mettere un misterio, il dono, il nostro ordine, il giudicato, il nome, il santo, il potenza, il misericordio, il dono. Amen. Deo, si fu verso, si fu più vita, bisna, and clap to let up it or in prayer. On standing of his arm and with record the unto one, and salutare to him thy noise. Domine exalti or thy noise, et clamo vers et heaven. Dominus vobiscum, et cum spirito tuo, orremus. Dum medium silentium, denero domni ad nox in suo corso medium iter habere, omnipotent sermo tuus domine, de celis ad egalibus edibus veni. Dominus regnavi decorum in tutus ad nox in suo corso medium iter habere, Omnipotent sermo tuus, Domine, de celis et egalibus edibus veni. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christa eleison, Christa eleison, Christa eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Gloria in excelsis Deo, 
et in terra pax hominibus vole voluntatis, laudamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te, gracias a ti musti vi propte magnum gloriam tuam, Domine Deus, Rex Celestis, Deus Pater Onipotens, Domine Filio Unigenita, Iesu Christe, Domine Deus, Omnius Dei, Filius Patris, qui tolis peccatum mundi, miserere nobis, qui tolis peccatum mundi, suscipe deprecationem nostra, qui sedes ed exeram Patris, miserere nobis. Quali am tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus, Iesu Christe, Con Santo Spirito in gloria dei Patris. Amen. Ecce vobis et con Spirito tuo. Ordemus. Omnipotens e vitarne deum, spirige et actus nostros in beneplacito tuo, ut in nomine dilecti figli tui meriamor bonus uceribus abundare, Qui fai con più vita regna e con dignità di Spiritus Santi Deus, erano mia secula seculorum. Amen. Ordemus. Concede Caesus Onnipotens Deus, su dos unigeniti tui nove per candem nativitas libere, con su peccati iuga vetusta servitus tei. Amen. Dad nobis Caesus, abri mi tarde, quod volimus, su discamus e dimicus dirigere, Queus natalitia celebramus, qui nobilesiam propes e cultoribus exorari Dominum nostrum Iesu Christum Filium Tuum. Ecclesiam Tuam Domine Beninus e Lustre, Viaci Ioannis Apostoli, Tui ed Evangeliste, Illuminate ad hoc Fins, ad ora pervenienza e viterna. Per Dominum nostrum Iesu Christum Filium Tuum, qui te cum vivi da regna ad un'unità di Spiritus Santi Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Orde. Deus cuius odiarne de preconium innocentes materes non loquendo, sed morriendo confessi sum, omnia rinovis vitsior mala motifica, ut fidel tuam quam lingua nostre loquito rezia moribus frita federatur. Deus procuius ecclesia gloriosus pontifex Thomas gradis in piorum occupuit, presta caesumus sus omnes qui eus implorant auxilium petitionis sue salutare corpe quanto le fecu. Nostrum Iesu Christum Filium Tum, qui te cum vivi da regna ad un'unità di Spiritus Santi Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Lex Epistole Viazzi Pari Oposti et Canatas. Fratres, quanto tempore heris paupus es, nihil de fete servo, cum si dominus omnium, sed sub tutoribus et actoribus est usque ad prefinitum tempus a patre, itra et nos come semus parvulis sub elementis mundi ramus servientes. Et ubi venit plenitudo temporis, misi Deus filius suum, quantum es muliere, quantum sunt lege, ut Deus quis sub lege erant redimere, ut ed optionem filiorum recepi merius. Quoniam autem estis fili, misi Deus spiritum fili su in corda vestre namantem. Abba, Pate, it aqua iam non es servus et filius, quod si filius et heres per Deum. Deo gratia. Speciosus forme pre filius hominum diffuser es grazi in labistulis, eruptavit por meum verbum bonum dico ego opera mea regi, lingua mea calamus scrive velociter scriventes. Alleluia, alleluia! Dominus regnavit e corum intuit, intuit dominus fortitudine me precintit servitute. Alleluia! Dominus Obiscum, et cum Spirito Tuo, sequenzio Santi Vergili, secundum Lucam, gloria a ti vitofne. In ino tempre, Dios e Maria, Marta e Gai, Suverante, Supechis, Pede, Cepantu de Ilo, e benedixi dirissi meon, e dixi da Maria, Matre Meus, e Cepositus e sic in Ruminam et in Resurrezione Motorum in Israel, et in signum qui contradicetur, et tu amixius animam petransibit gladius, ut revelentur ex multis quodibus cogitationes. Et erat Anna, profetisa, filia famuel de triviuasse, hec processerat in diebus multis, et vixerat cum vero sua anis septum a virginitate sua. 
et hei vidua usper a nos autus inter quatur, que non dicite bande templo, de iunis et absucationibus ergens nocte agie. Et hei quipsa horus superveniens copite patur domino, et quo patur de illo omnibus qui spectabant redemptionem Israel. Et ut perficerunt omnia secundum legum domini reversi sunt in Galileum et civitatem suam Nazare. Puer autem crescebat et confutabat ur plenus sapientia, et gratia Dei errat in illo. Laus, Tibi Christi. Of the Sunday within the octave of Christmas, the epistle is taken from the letter of St. Paul the Apostle to the Galatians. Brethren, one who comes into his property while he is still a child has no more liberty than one of the servants, though all the estate is his. He is under the control of guardians and trustees until he reaches the age prescribed by his father. So it was with us. In those childish days of ours, we toiled away at the schoolroom tasks which the world gave us till the appointed time came. Then God sent out his son on a mission to us. He took birth from a woman, took birth as a subject of the law, so as to ransom those who were subject to the law, and make us sons by adoption. To prove that you are sons, God has sent out the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out to us, Abba, Father. No longer then art thou a slave, thou art a son, and because thou art a son, thou hast through God the son's right of inheritance. And the Holy Gospel is the continuation of that according to St. Luke. At this time, Joseph and Mary, the mother of Jesus, were still wandering over all that was said of him, when Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, Behold, this child is destined to bring about the fall of many and the rise of many in Israel, to be a sign which men will refuse to acknowledge, and so the thoughts of many hearts shall be made manifest. As for thy own soul, it shall have a sword to pierce it. There was besides a prophetess named Anna, daughter of, the, of one Phanuel of the tribe of Asa, a woman greatly advanced in age, since she had lived with her husband for seven years after her maidenhood, and had now been eighty-four years a widow, who abode continually in the temple night and day, serving God with fasting and prayer. She too, at that very hour, came near to give God thanks, and spoke of the child to all that patiently waited for the deliverance of Israel. And now, when all had been done that the law of the Lord required, they returned to Galilee and to their own town of Nazareth, and so the child grew and came to his strength, full of wisdom, and the grace of God rested upon him. How merry for grace the Lord is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Nobody but he saith, he is to sancti. Amen. Carissimi, beloved in Christ, welcome, as we said, to this Mass, which is of the Sunday within the octave of Christmas, because uh, here uh, the Feast of St. Thomas, uh, of course, took precedence yesterday, but only uh, here uh, in the UK. The Mass for the Sunday after Christmas is not without its contribution to the development of Christmas theology. Its message can be expressed briefly in the phrase, from the crib to the cross. It helps in understanding, that is to say, this mass du medium. Tension is high as it develops three motifs. Firstly, that of Christmas. Secondly, that of the Passion. And lastly, that of Easter. The introit takes us back to the Holy Night. Let us remind ourselves of the words of the introit. While all around lay deep in sleep, and night had no more than passed the middle point of her journey. Then, Lord, thy almighty word came down, came from thy royal throne. We see here the child in the manger, and at the same time the king, the king of kings, descending from his heavenly throne. The resurrection psalm 92 occurs repeatedly, and it is familiar to us from Lords. It tells us who this child of Bethlehem is and where his crib is set. He is the king of the universe, clothed with creation as a sash. 
He rises triumphant over primeval chaos and hell, our Redeemer. Does not miss, do not miss the symbolism. The priest entering the sanctuary in rich vestments represents the king coming down upon earth. Remember, my brothers and sisters, that the priest in the Mass is Alter Christus, another Christ. The collect, of course, has, expresses or stresses emphasis on good works. And the epistle relates Christmas to Easter, thereby indicating the deepest meaning of the Mass. God sent his Son, born of a woman, that he might redeem us, that we might receive the adoption of sons. We are God's freed children. Easter's greater blessing, great blessings are ready. In the newborn, we are made children of God and heirs of heaven. <coughs> <coughs> the gospel may surprise you, of course. All of a sudden, it is 40 days after the nativity and we are in the temple, witnesses to a memorable scene, which, of course, will be commemorated on the Feast of Candlemas. For the child and his mother, the aged Simeon prophesies the cross and sorrow. This one is set for the fall and for the resurrection of many, and for a sign which shall be contradicted. And also, thy own soul a sword shall pierce. A shrill oracle amid the calm peace of the season. Our lovely infant will soon be the man of sorrows. The serene virgin mother, hardly more than a child herself, will become the Mater Dolorosa. The divine hero will indeed vanquish the flood, but like a second Samson, will first be buried under it. These themes, my brothers and sisters, remind us as uh, is as Holy Mother Church uh, continually in this octave has sought to do, to remind us of the purpose, of the reason why the Christ child comes to us. It may be all too easy for us to lose ourselves in the sentimentalism and romanticism of the birth of a newborn baby, to forget that the reason why the Messiah comes, the reason why the King of Kings comes, the reason why Jesus why God becomes one with us is ultimately that he may die for our sakes in order for us to become like him, in order for us to become one with him. We cannot, my brothers and sisters, commemorate the season of Christmas without a view to the cross and indeed to an appreciation of the resurrection. You may recall how a couple of weeks ago I explained how in the liturgy we exist, the church exists, both in hindsight and with foresight in the present moment. That is to say, in the divine liturgy we are always representing what went before, and we do so with, of course, the benefit of hindsight and the foreknowledge of what will one day be, of the significance of what we are representing, 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 sorry, from the history of our salvation, knowing with that salvation what will occur in the future. And we recreate or we represent this in the present moment, knowing that, of course, God is timeless. Indeed, when we enter into the Holy Mysteries of the Mass, of the Divine Liturgy, we are entering into God's timelessness. So that, as we explained in the Catechism a couple of weeks ago, at the most sacred part of the Mass, in the Holy of Holies, during the canon of the Mass, we are literally one with heaven. When we uh, begin the angelic, the, uh, the, sorry, the uh, cherubic hymn, um, Sanctus, 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 or rather the seraphic hymn, we are entering then into uh, oneness, complete unity, with heaven, so that it is Christ in the person of the priest as an altar Christus. It is Christ himself, the great high priest, who, as St. Paul tells us, has passed into the heavens and continues to offer himself in sacrifice as a, 
pure and spotless oblation for us in sacrifice for our sins, it is he himself. We are at that moment, as it were, witnessing Christ himself continually offering himself as high priest and victim to God the Father. So even during these particular seasons, and even during uh, this season of Christmas, uh, we are always uh, mindful of the cross and of Easter. Indeed, of course, in large part because all of this is only possible because of the cross and because of the resurrection. What we, what is enabled for us in the Holy Mysteries is done so because of the resurrection life that is being imbued, infused, we might say, in the Church through the apostolic succession, through the gift and the power of the Holy Ghost. It is how, that is how, uh, we are enabled to represent in the present what was in the past and at the same time speak to the future or realise or experience the future. The future when, of course, the fullness of the restoration of creation with God will be realised in the new heaven and the new earth. As you may recall, some of you, a few weeks ago, when I spoke about the significance of Holy Communion, in Holy Communion we experience a foretaste. Well, not even necessarily a foretaste. Literally, we experience that union that will one day be between ourselves and God. Literally, as we receive Christ, body, blood, soul and divinity upon our tongues. Literally, as we become one in him as he becomes one in us. We are realised in that moment of Holy Communion the perfection and the wholeness and the reconciliation and the restoration and the eternal life that lays ahead for us after this earthly sojourn. That is what Holy Communion is. That's what it means. And this is why it is such a tragedy that so many keep themselves away from Holy Communion. There is no more precious gift. For the sacrament of His love encapsulates everything. The wholeness of the Gospel, the wholeness of the truth, the wholeness of whom we are before and with God and what we shall be. This is the great wonder and mystery of the sacrament of the altar. This is the power and significance of Holy Communion. And I never understand why people keep themselves away or allow themselves to be kept away Blessed Sacrament is the Gospel. The Blessed Sacrament, Holy Communion, is to receive the fullness of Christ's promises, to experience them in a single moment in and out of time. And when you consider, my brothers and sisters, our Lord's admonitions all the time throughout the Gospels, telling us, you will not know when the end of the world will be. You will not know when my return will be. It could happen today, tomorrow, next week, right now. It could happen any when. But you must be ready. And we cannot, my brothers and sisters, be made more ready than when we have received the Blessed Sacrament. When we have received that full body, blood, soul and divinity of Christ into ourselves. When we have become one with him and he with us 
In that moment, we are full of grace. We cannot be more full of grace. We are as full of grace in that moment of Holy Communion as Our Lady was when Christ was in her womb. Perhaps sometimes, my brothers and sisters, our flowery language obfuscates the simple reality of the, of the significance of Holy Communion. And you see how we take it so for granted. Again, I refer you to that parable of the feast of the king who sends out the invitations and all those who say, oh no, I can't come because of this, I can't come because of that. This is a daily invitation to attend the high banquet of heaven to receive the food of angels, to receive that new heavenly manna, to receive the bread of life, to receive that which gives eternal life. Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you will not have life in you. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. All of this, all of these concepts are bound up and wound up together in one whole when we understand the Mass, when we understand the Holy Communion. Then truly do we understand the Gospel. Only then, in the sacrament of His love, does the concept of Him as love make sense. Only then does our existence make sense. We who are an extension of his love. He who would desire us to become a personification of his love, just as the incarnate Christ was the, incarnate, was the uh, personification of his love. This is what it means to bear the name Christian. It means to strive to become like Christ. Indeed, to become Christ for the world around us. Yes, of course, we say that the, the priest is an alter Christus, or that he acts in persona Christi in the context of the divine liturgy, because Christ himself acts through him. But at the same time, my brothers and sisters, all of us who have been baptised are part of what we call the royal priesthood of believers. We, all of us, are called to imitate our great high priest. We all of us are called to radiate his image and his love. We all of us are called to be ambassadors of Christ, as St Paul says. All of us called to be like heralds of his second coming, like St John the Baptist was of his first. All of us, on a daily basis, should be heeding and intending those words of the Baptist. I must decrease that he may increase. That we may then likewise share in the words and sentiments of St Paul who says, It is not I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And that is true and realised for us in the moment of Holy Communion. And of course, the receipt of that Holy Communion is to aid us and to help us to realise for ourselves this truth, this love, this realisation of ourselves as children of God. The receipt of Holy Communion is to enable us to change and transform, to convert and conform. 
ourselves into perfect images of him who made us. That we may indeed realise for ourselves in the future that which we receive a foretaste on in the present. And this should inspire us and encourage us and enable us and facilitate us So that we may realise those words, that command of Christ himself. So that we can love as he loved us. And in loving as he loved us, be recognised as his disciples. Be recognised as Christ. As of Christ. As like Christ. So that others may come, draw near, and for themselves discover the gospel truth that is shrined and encapsulated within the significance of the Holy Communion. Realise whom they are before and with God. Realise their inheritance promised from all eternity for all eternity, that God desires them to experience now and forever. Let us, my brothers and sisters, strive on a daily basis to inculcate within ourselves such a love for Jesus in the Eucharist that we will not ignore nor abhor his daily invitation to come and see and to receive our supersubstantial bread that will give us eternal life and allow us to see and to know God for our own sakes and for others. There is so much more to Christmas than the commemoration of a little baby boy born in impoverished circumstances. It means life. It means understanding life universe and everything. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Corredo in unum deum, atrem omnipotentem, factorum celi et terra visibilium omnibus invisibilium, et in unum dominum iaesum Christum filium deum igenitum, et ex patium antum anti omnia secula, deum de deum lumen de lumine, deum verum de deum verum, genitum non factum consustantialem patri, pecum omnia factus sunt, qui prote nos habene so prote nostrum salutem de celi de celis, et incarnatus est de Spiritus Santo, ex Maria Virgine, et homo factus est. Crucifixus et siam pro nobis o Pontio Pilatu, passus et sepultus est, et res ad exit des idees secundus scripturas, et descendere in celum sedere dextra in patris, et eternum venturus et cum gloriu litare vivos et motivos, cuius regni non erit finis, et in Spiritum Sanctum Dominum et Vivificantem, qui ex patri procedi, qui con Patria et Filio semula d'oretore con glorificantur qui locutus est per profetas, et unam sanctam catholicam et apostolicam ecclesiam, confiti unum baptismo in remissionem peccatorum, et expecto resurrectionem mortuorum, et vitam venturi seculi. 
Amen. Dominus vobiscum et cum spirito tu. Ordemus. Deus, che mavit orbem pere, qui non como bebitur, parati sedes tua Deus ex punct, e seculo tu e. Via Dominus.
România secula secolorum. Amen. Dominus Obiscum, et cum Spiritu Tuo, Sosum Corda, Habemus a Dominum, Gracias a Gamus Domino Deo Nostro, Dignum et Justum Est. Vere Dignum et Justum Est, et come salutarli, nos divi sempre tu, per quei gracias agere, Domine Sancte Pater, Onipotenza et Tene Deus. Qui aperre incanati verbi mesterium, novamentis nostri oculis, lux tu e claritatis infusi, ut un visibiliter Deum conoscicus per cum quint invisibili in amore ne peamur. Et di Deo come angelis ed arcangelis controlis e dominazionibus cum quei omni milisse celestis exercitus, e cum gloria e tue canimus sine fine dicentes. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sabaratha, plenis un cieli et terra gloria tua, osanna in excelsis. Benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, osanna in excelsis.
Secula seculorum. Amen. Raxa Domini sit semper obiscum, et cum spirito tuo. Ece alius Dei, ece quitolit peccatum mundi. Domine non sum dignus ut in tres utectum meum, setantum dignambo et sendabitur anima mea. Domine non sum dignus ut in tres utectum meum, setantum dignambo et sendabitur anima mea. Domine non sum dignus ut in tres utectum meum, setantum dignambo et sendabitur anima mea. Brothers and sisters watching Mass online and unable, therefore, to receive the Blessed Sacrament, we invite you now to make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that Thou art present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love Thee above all things, and I desire Thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive Thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though thou wert already there, I embrace thee and unite myself wholly to thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from thee. Amen.
ne tu verve padre ne tu se vadi in terra misel, de funti su denim qui quereba libri manuel. Dominus obispum et cum spirito tuo. Ardemus. Per tuius salve operazione misteri et vizia nostra presentur et iuste iutis sideria compleantur. Per domino nostro mi hai sum Christum filium tuum. Qui tecum e vedereni al divinitati sui cui sancti deus. Per ramia secula seculorum. Amen. Ardemus. Presta caestimus omnipotens Deus, ut natus hori e salvator mundi, sicu divine in obis generationis testatur, ita et immortalitatis sit ipse illagitur. Auxiliendor nobis domini sunt a misteria, et ita gedente beato Stefano Martire tuo, serviterna protezione confirme. Refetici proprio tu che celesti Deus nostre, te suffice e sempre famur, ut in cui us hai commemorazione pecetimus, e us muniamo le trecibus. Per Domino nostro, mi hai su Cristo un figlio tu, e te con il regno ad un'unità di Spirito Santo Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Orde. Votiva Domine, Dona Percepimus, Quae Sanctorum nobis precibus e presensis quaesimus, Vitae parita et eterna et repium e confere e subsidium. Ei nos communio, Domine, puge da crimine, Et intercedente beato Toma, Martire tuo atque pontifice, Celestis dai medi i faci et esse consoteris. Per Domino nostro, mi hai su Cristo un figlio tu, Qui te cum vivida regna ad un'unità di Spiritus Sancti Deus, per romnia secula seculorum. Amen. Domino suo viscum, et cum spirito tuo, ite misa est, Deo grazia. Nomen Domini Benedictum, et sol nunc odusque in secula, ut orum nostrum in nomen Domini, qui fece celum et terram. Benedicat vos, omnipotens Deus. Pate, et filius, et spiritus sanctus. Amen. Dominus Fabiscum, et cum spirito tuo, initium sancti Evangelii secundo mio Padre. Gloria a ti, vi Domine. In principio, ore verbum, er verbum, er etato Deo, Deus, ore verbum, hoc erat in principio, atu Deo, ma omni prezzo fatto sum, de simso fatto vis nilo, vos fatto mes. In ipso vita erat, e vita erat, lux habitum, e lux interne, vos luce, e retene, per em non comprehenderum. Tui tomo misus del cuna veneratio anes. I felici testimoni, bu testimoni, vi bere tu lumen, et omnes gresso in trinum. Non è vita in lux, se nu testimoni, vi bere tu lumen. Era lux vera, qua lumen, et omne, ma omne, et niente, min hum mundo. Mundo erati, mundo sui sui fatti, se si mondo sui non con gli occhi, che proprio i veri ci sono non recepevano. Quando fuori a te mi recepevano, te avrei spostato un figlio e fieri che si credono di nomine eius. Qui non è sanguinico, se ne sono tanti cani, se ne sono tanti piri, se ne sono tanti sunt. Ed vero, un carro fatto un eius. Ed abitavi di nomi, se venivo sgloria in eius, gloria in quasi in genetia a parte, e in grazia e in veritatis. Neo grazia. Grace and Lord is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, for grace and Lord is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, for grace and Lord is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hello, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn, then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the prophecies of Christ. And let us pray. O God, who art our refuge and our strength, look down in mercy on thy people who cry to thee. And by the intercession of the glorious and blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and St. Joseph, her spouse of thy blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and of all thy saints, in mercy and goodness hear our prayers for the conversion of sinners, and for the liberty and exaltation of our Holy Mother, the Church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Holy Michael, Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell, Satan and all wicked spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy upon us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy upon us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy upon us. May St. Catherine is standing <clears throat> pray for us. May St. Stephen, Protomata, pray for us. May St. John the Evangelist, pray for us. May the Holy Innocents Martyrs, pray for us. May St. Thomas of Canterbury, pray for us. May St. Wilfred of York, pray for us. St. Richard of Chichester, pray for us. St. Louis of Alfriston, pray for us. Our Lady of Walsingham, pray for us. Our Holy Guardian Angels, pray for us. Our Heavenly Patron Saints, pray for us. Our Lady Queen of Heaven, all the angels and saints, pray for us.